Hey guys, here we're going to take a look at the solubility and temperature experiment. So we're starting here with a saturated solution of magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2, at high temperature. This is at about 72.2 degrees Celsius, let's say. We're going to titrate this with hydrochloric acid, but to do that we need to filter it first to get rid of that excess solid that is in the saturated solution. So you're going to pour about 35 milliliters of this since we're titrating about 30 milliliters into a graduated cylinder. The exact volume right here is not critical as we're going to get accurate after the filtration. So about 35 milliliters or so there. That's going into the Buchner funnel. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the vacuum on. And I should add that at this point you should act pretty quickly because you don't want too much solid to precipitate as that solution in the graduated cylinder cools. So I've got my filter paper on there, had my vacuum filtration set up all ready to go, and I'm gonna immediately or as quickly as possible pour the saturated solution through the filter. This will catch any solid particles of magnesium hydroxide and pull through the filtrate, which is now just saturated magnesium hydroxide without the extra solid. So we're only gonna titrate now what is dissolved in the aqueous solution. All right, so now I've turned the vacuum off broken the vacuum and I have my saturated magnesium hydroxide filtered and ready to go and now we're going to try to weigh out or measure out as close to 30 milliliters as we can. Again, it's not critical that you get exactly 30 milliliters here as long as you measure to the nearest 0.1 milliliter once you've transferred into the graduated cylinder. So we're going to want to take a look at that and see what the exact measurement is. I'm actually going to add a little bit more to get us up to the 30 milliliter line or so. And again, getting there exactly is not critical. The key thing is measuring, is, is reading how much volume is in there before we transfer into the Erlenmeyer flask and actually pursue the titration. So we'll look at the meniscus here to get a feel for exactly how much volume of magnesium hydroxide solution is in there. And you can see it getting a bit cloudy, and this is because of cooling of that solution. So here again, you want to work as efficiently as you can. So we're going to transfer this into our titration flask, a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, and then titrate it using hydrochloric acid, 0.002 molar hydrochloric acid. You're actually going to prepare this yourself via dilution. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the burette and we'll start the titration. All right, so my burette is now full of hydrochloric acid and I'm gonna add a few drops of phenylphthalein to the solution. It should be a deep pink, something like five to 10 drops is totally fine. You wanna see that deep pink color and we have our burette here now filled with hydrochloric acid, and the initial level is about right here. Now I'm realizing that I forgot to dispense a little bit of hydrochloric acid to fill the bottom of the burette with the titrant solution. So go ahead and we'll bring that titrant level down just to the tip of the nozzle so that there are no air bubbles and we get an accurate initial volume reading. So now that we've done that, let's go back up and see what our initial volume of hydrochloric acid in the burette is here. And this looks to me to be about 23.20 milliliters to start. And now we will open that stopcock and start dispensing dropwise our solution of hydrochloric acid. And we're gonna to continue to do this until that solution goes from the deep pink that you see right here to a light pink color with swirling of the Erlenmeyer flask. Or if you have a small stir bar you wanna add and use the stirring capabilities of the burette stand, you absolutely can as well. All right, so we've now reached a point where the deep pink color has gone away. We are at the end point of the titration and there's a nice close up of the solution. It's still a little bit cloudy because of excess magnesium hydroxide, that's okay. And now we're gonna take a reading of the final volume to get a sense of how much hydrochloric acid we added. So looking at the bottom of the meniscus there, this looks to be about 28.07 milliliters, I would say. So the difference between that and our initial volume reading tells us how much hydrochloric acid we added 